So page three of quadratics, uh, we're just continuing what we were doing on page two, which was we were studying these four um, quadratics here. And uh, now we're going to be sketching the graphs of the function. Um, and we're just going to go ahead and do most of these just with a calculator. Uh, we can uh, take one of these and take a look at how you would do it without the calculator. Uh, let's take the first one, which is x squared plus 2x minus 3, and kind of see, okay, first of all, where would we put the vertex on this? If we were going to use a calculator, we would immediately program it into y equals. We would do second calc min or second calc max to find the vertex, and that would help us start out the drawing, right? Uh, the next thing we would do is we'd do second table and find specific points and graph those. Now, if we didn't have the calculator, uh, which wouldn't be the case for uh, math studies, we could use the equation to find the x coordinate of the vertex, also known as the axis of symmetry, using x equals negative b over 2a. And in this case, a is 1 and b is 2. So let's plug those in and see what we get. So we get negative 2 divided by 2 times 1, which is negative 1. So we know that in this particular case, the x coordinate of the vertex is negative 1. And the y-coordinate of the vertex we could find by putting negative 1 in for each occurrence of x here. That would be negative 1 squared, which is positive 1. Negative 1 times 2, which is negative 2, minus 3 is equal to negative 4. So our, our vertex would be negative 1, comma, negative 4. Since we don't really know where exactly on this grid the quadratic is going to be, we'll just put the... Uh, axes right in the middle, and we'll mark the uh, vertex at negative 1, negative 4. And then we know that it's going to go open up, right, because the a value is positive, and then probably it's just going to, you know, the a value is also 1, so we know that it's going to be a standard width parabola. It's going to look kind of like that. Oh, I don't like the way it didn't go through the vertex. Kind of going to look like that, okay? Let's check by putting it in the calculator, okay? So we're going to go to y equals, and we are going to type in x squared plus 2x minus 3. So x squared plus 2x minus 3. And we're going to graph it. Hey, that looks kind of alike. Then we'll do second table, which is a better way of uh, seeing which one of the points is matching. So we got, let's see, go a little bit farther. Oh, there, we can see the vertex right there. It's the lowest point, negative 1, negative 4. And then we can confirm that the left uh, to the left we have negative 2, comma, negative 3. We indeed do have negative 2, comma, negative 3. And we also have 0, comma, negative 3 for the other side. And then we have... 1 comma 0 and negative 3 comma 0 on the side of that. And so let's get maybe one more point. That would be like 2 comma 5. That would be another point. And the other side would also be a symmetric point, right? Okay, so pretty much like that. Let's draw one more graph. That would be this one here. And so I'd only left you space to, to draw... Um, two uh, parabolas on each graph, so you can't, uh, you don't have too much space to, um, to waste here. So now I'm going to do this uh, equation here, x squared plus 8x plus 7. x squared, and remember, if you're already good at this, go ahead and do it on your own. You don't need to sit there watching me do it. You get practice doing it. Okay, I'm going to graph it just for fun. Okay, and then I'm going to do second table. And do you notice that since I have two different um, parabolas on the same grid, do you see how it actually is going to show me the second parabola's y coordinates over here and y2? That might be a little confusing. So I'm going to turn off the first parabola by clicking here on top of the equal sign. And then I'm going to go back into the table. And now only the second parabola's data is going to be here. And I can try to find the, uh, do you see how I find the vertex? I can find the vertex because I find this unique number, negative 9. All these other numbers are reflected and repeated, but negative 4, negative 9 is not. So I already know 
that uh, for this number two parabola, the um, the vertex is negative four, negative nine. I can actually confirm that. If we go back to page two, do you see how we already found out through the um, second calc uh, min uh, procedure, we already know that the, um, the vertex is negative four, negative nine. It's right there. And uh, let's take out, let's find some other numbers. So negative four, negative nine, and then there's negative three, negative eight. And then there's negative five, negative eight. And there's negative two, negative five. Okay, so it looks kind of like that. Okay, what if we want one more point here, negative seven comma zero. Okay, so that is the number two graph. That was number two, and this was number one. All right, let's graph uh, number three. So number three, let's draw a grid here. Draw a grid here. Oops, that was not in the center. Okay, x squared minus six x minus seven. X squared minus six x minus six x minus seven. Then I turn off this one. Let's graph it. Oh wow, it's way down there, isn't it? Um, let's uh, look at second table and see how far down the vertex is. It goes down to negative 16. Negative 16. I just noticed how loud the calculator was, and I just hopefully turned the volume down. Hopefully that won't bother you. Um, so I have uh, adjusted the x and y axes on my grid so that it can fit 3 comma negative 16. So here I just drawn 3 negative 16 in the circle here. I am going to draw some of the other points like 4 negative 15 and 5 negative 12. Oops, that's in red. Let me make it blue. And 6 comma negative 7. Okay, and then I'm going to mark some of the other points here. Okay, so that is our graph of number three. So let's look at number four. Number four is x squared minus 3x minus 4. Minus 4. And I'm going to look at the graph of that. There it is. It's not quite so far down. So the, um, it's this one here, and oh, this is interesting. There is no vertex shown in this table uh, because it's right in, it's probably at 1.5 or something. Let's check where the vertex is by looking up here. Uh, yeah, it's 1.5, negative 6.25. So let's go ahead and mark 1.5, negative 6.25. It would be right about there. Okay, and then let's mark a couple other points. For example, 0 comma negative 4 and um, 3 comma negative 4 and 4 comma 0. Okay, so that is our other parabola there, number, uh, number 4. So that was number four, and this is number three. All right, let's see what we're gonna do down here. Ah, so here we got number five, number six, number seven, number eight. Now I'm sure you can do most of these on your own. Um, nothing really new here. Uh, we are still just finding characteristics of parabolas, okay? So if you would like to watch me do all these, or check your answers, um, then, you know, pause, graph one, 
check your answers, etc. So I'm going to do these a little bit faster. What I'm going to do is I'm going to assume that you're going to be checking your answers and not actually doing these. So I'm going to be uh, doing several of these characteristics and then I'll come back and explain them afterwards. Okay, so first I'm going to do number five. Okay, I'm going to pause while I do that. Okay, did you give uh, number five a try? So first I program number five into y equals. There it is. If I graph it, it's going way down, right? And, uh, and then I got many characteristics of it. I've graphed some of the points here. And uh, the way I get these points is I go to second table. And uh, I look to kind of see where the vertex is. I can kind of see where the vertex is by the way the y values are symmetrical about the vertex, right? So there's the vertex right there. It's about 1.5. So I wrote down points for each one of these. Uh, negative 2 comma 0, negative 1, negative 6, 0, negative 10. I put those points on there. Um, and I could uh, go ahead and trace through them. I could trace a smooth curve through them. And it looks kind of like that, right? And then I started using the calculator to find some of these characteristics. For example, the y-intercept, remember, uh, we can find by looking at the graph and doing trace 0 because trace 0 tells us what the y value is at the x value of 0. And we can see it's 0 comma negative 10. And uh, the axis of symmetry is, is 1.5. The way we can find that is we could do second calc minimum. And then when we do that, it'll tell us that the vertex is 1.5 comma negative 12.25, which means that the axis of symmetry is the x-coordinate of the vertex, which is x equals 1.5. Remember, you should always write x equals at the beginning of the x-symmetry because the x-symmetry is a, is a line. It's not a number. To find the x-intercepts, we could do second calc 0. And if we do second calc 0, we'll find out that the x-intercepts are negative 2, 0 and 5, 0. And we can also see that they are negative 2, 0 and 5, 0 just by looking at the graph, too, because it happens to be that those x-intercepts are exactly on whole numbers, so we can see it through the table also. The, the range is simply uh, the y-intercept of, or the y-coordinate of the um, vertex, and we're going to have all the numbers above that too because it does open up, right? Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing for uh, number six and uh, I'm going to pause the video and you can go ahead and work on number six and then come back and check your answer. Okay, I hope you tried to do number six by yourself. Um, when you do number six, I programmed it right in here into y1, 2x squared plus x minus 3, right? One of the interesting things about this one is when you do look at the table for it, you can see that it's like kind of off-center here. You don't see that familiar reflection of uh, y values that we normally see. Um, to find the vertex of this, you definitely are going to have to do second calc minimum. When you do do second calc minimum, you'll see that the vertex is negative 0.25, negative 3.125. Let's take a look at the graph here. So it's actually slightly to the left here, right? So it's not uh, aligned with the y-axis as it might appear. So the uh, axis of symmetry is the x-coordinate of the vertex, negative 0.25, right? And uh, the y-intercept we can find either by looking at second table or doing trace 0. If we look at second table, we can see that 0, comma negative 3 is the y-intercept. We wrote that down. And then the x-intercepts we can find by doing second calc 0. Okay, if we do second calc 0, we find that the two x-intercepts are negative 1.5, comma 0 and 1, comma 0. And the, the range we can find by taking all the y values above the y ac, uh, the y coordinate of the vertex, negative 3.125, so everything above because we have a uh, parabola that turns up. It's kind of uh, unfortunate that all of our parabolas are turned up because it's hard to see that if you have a parabola that's turned down, then your, your range is going to be y is less than or equal to the number and not y is greater than or equal to the number. And so let's uh, connect some of the dots here. There we go, something like that. Okay, so the vertex here is at negative 0.25 uh, x, x value, right? So that was number six. 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go off and graph number seven and get some of the characteristics number seven while you do the same and then join me back here to check your answers. Here we are back with the results of number seven. I just programmed it into y equals and graphed it and got a few pieces of data. First of all, we found out that the y-intercept was 0, comma, negative 3. We can do that with trace 0, or we can do that with second table. Um, I also found the vertex by doing second calc min. Uh, second calc min showed me that the vertex was negative 1.25, comma, negative 6.125. I can use the x-coordinate of the vertex as the axis of symmetry equation, x equals negative 1.25, and then the two x-intercepts we can find using second calc 0, and we find out that one of them is negative 3, comma, 0, and the other one is 0 0.5, comma, 0. And uh, finally, the range is all the possible y values. So that starts with the vertex y, y coordinate, negative 6.125, and all the points above that. So that would be y is greater than or equal to that. Um, and I, what I did this time was I took each one of these uh, characteristics. I took uh, 0, comma, negative 3, for example. I took the vertex, which is negative 1.25, negative 6.125. I took the x-intercepts, negative 3, comma 0, and 0 0.50, and I graphed all those points. And you can see that actually just with those points, we can actually graph pretty much the parabola, right? Pretty much looks like that, okay? So you don't have to have all the data from second table. You could just use the characteristics like y-intercept, x-intercept, uh, vertex, uh, etc. And that, that's pretty much enough to, to graph one. Uh, so last of all, I'm going to go back and I'm going to uh, get all the characteristics of number 8. And you do the same and come back and check your answer. So last of all, let's check out number 8. Number 8, you can see, is a... Uh, 3x squared minus x minus 4, which means the a value is 3, which means it's really vertically stretched. And as you can see from the graph, it is kind of skinny. Um, it's also off-center. So uh, you can see that second calc min is going to give you kind of a weird x-coordinate, 0.167. Uh, that will also be the uh, axis of symmetry. Um, and if you look at the graph, it is kind of uh, slightly off-center. It, it really makes your um, table look kind of weird, because when you look at the table, you'll see that, you know, the, the symmetry that sometimes we see is not really there, right? So we can see that, okay, the, the vertex is going to be somewhere around this negative 4, but we can't really see where, and we don't see the characteristic reflection of numbers here. Um, so anyway, we can find the vertex using second calc min, and we can find the zeros by doing second calc zero. We can find the x-intercepts, but you can see that you can actually find one of the x-intercepts just by looking at the table, negative 1, comma, 0, right? The other one, 1.33, comma, 0, the best way to do it is to find using second calc zero. And of course, uh, the vertex y-coordinate is negative 0 0.408, and we use that to figure out the range as y is greater than or equal to negative 4.08. And we're going to take these numbers here and we're going to graph a few of the characteristic uh, parts of the parabola. So we have the vertex here and we have the y-intercept. We're going to draw the vertex right through the y-intercept, right through the x-intercept and go up. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. And you can see we do get a very narrow parabola because the a value is 3. And that is it for number eight.